I'm Dr. Jyotsna Thakur, uh, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, presenting here the first unit of uh, MSc Part 1, Analytical Chemistry. The first unit of the Analytical Chemistry is Language of Analytical Chemistry, which involves the following points. Uh, so we are discussing these points, terms involved in Analytical Chemistry, classification of analytical methods, an overview of analytical methods, types of instrumental methods, instrument for analysis, data domain, detectors, transducers and sensors, selection of analytical methods and errors. So we will start with what is analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry is the science of inventing and applying the concepts, principles and strategies for measuring the characteristics of chemical systems and species. So, if you want to know the analytical chemistry, you must have the analytical perspective. What is analytical perspective? It is an analytical approach to solve the problems. What is analytical approach? Analytical approach is to identify and define the problem, design the experimental procedure, conduct an experiment and gather data, analyze the experimental data and propose a solution to the problem. So, this is what we have to, uh, we have to do into, into the analytical approach. That is, we have to identify the problem, design the experimental uh, procedure, then you have to conduct an experiment analyze the experimental data and propose a solution. This is what the analytical approach loop. Now we will discuss the terms involved in analytical chemistry. So analytical chemistry is basically deals with the analysis. So we must know what is analysis. Analysis, it is a process that provides chemical or physical information about the constitutes in constituents in the sample or the sample itself it involves quantitative analysis there are three types of the analysis quantitative analysis characterization analysis and fundamental analysis quantitative analysis includes the determination of the quantity of the uh, sample uh, quantity of the constituents in the given sample characterization and ana analysis includes the determination of the characteristics and thus to identify the given constituents into the sample and we will see what is fundamental analysis fundamental analysis includes the improving the experimental methods extending and improving the theory on which the method is based it means Whatever the developed theory is there, you can improve that theory or you can extend that theory to the another applications. So that is what the fundamental analysis includes. Also, we can study the methods limitations in the fundamental analysis and you can design new or you can modify the old method. So your, your analytical chemistry is deals with these three approaches actually that is quantitative analysis that is quantitative estimation of the uh, given constituents then characterization and then fundamental analysis so now we will discuss the different terms involved in the analytical chemistry because before without the uh, knowing all these terms we cannot do the analysis uh, first we will see what is mean by analyte so just now I have said that you can quantitatively estimate the particular constituent into the sample. You can characterize the given sample that is you can find out the properties of the uh, a particular constituent in the given sample or the whole sample. And third thing is you can develop the new method for the determination or, uh, or you can modify the uh, method for the determination of the particular constituent in the given sample. Okay. So what is that particular constituent? That particular constituent is called as an analyte in the analytical chemistry. So analyte is the constituent of interest in a sample. Then next is a matrix. 
matrix means the sample sample in which you are determining the analyte so the matrix is defined as all other constituents in a sample except for the analyte that is the anything which is excluding analyte is called as a matrix in the sample next is the determination we have seen the different three different approaches of the analytical chemistry that is qualitative analysis quantitative analysis and fundamental analysis in qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis i said that you have to determine a uh, quantity of the sample uh, particular constituent that is now analyte we can call co determination of quantity of the analyte in the given sample and qualitative analysis mean determine the characteristics of the analyte in the given sample so i am using the word determine again and again so we will see what is actually determination is that word is different from the analysis or not okay both the things we will see so uh, what is mean by determination we will see first that is it is an analysis of a sample to find the identity concentration and properties of the analyte in analytical chemistry the determination means an analysis of a sample to find the identity concentration or properties of the analyte next term we always use in the analytical chemistry that is what the measurement so we will try to know what is mean by measurement here it is an experimental determination of analyte's chemical or physical properties that is called as a that is called as a measurement any physical property or chemical property you determine that is called as a measurement next is techniques all these analysis we carried out by using different types of the techniques so we will try to know what is mean by technique here technique is a chemical or physical principle that can be used to analyze a sample next comes method what is difference between the technique and method we usually get confused with these two words technique and method technique means a when you use any physical and chemical principle for the analyzing sample is called as a technique and the method is the application of technique to, uh, to th for the determination of a specific analyte in a specific matrix the next comes procedure we cannot do the analysis without procedures you must have a proper uh, guidelines to follow the uh, to follow the uh, analysis so we will try to know the pro uh, so that we called as a procedure so we will try to know what is mean by procedure so procedure is a set of written directions which details how to apply method to a particular sample including information on the proper sampling handling of interference and validating results so the procedure doesn't include the method a single method which is used for the analysis but it involves the everything which is related to the analysis that is the sampling methods uh, interference removal and the validation method so everything comes under the procedure next comes protocol now again we get confused with these two words procedure and protocol just now we have seen what is mean by procedure procedure means the methods which are used for the analysis of the uh, analysis of the particular uh, analyte in the given sample now what is mean by protocol protocol includes the procedure but it is slight we, it is slightly different from the a procedure because it is a set of stringent written guidelines why the word stringent is there because this this is the, these are the guidelines which which comes under the policies therefore protocol is different from the procedure okay so we'll see what is protocol exactly it is a set of stringent written guidelines which details the procedure that must be followed if the agency specifying Uh, specifying the protocol is to accept the results of analysis or not protocols are commonly encountered when the analytical chemistry is used to support or define a public policy so this is the main difference between the procedure and protocol procedure is just to carry out the different methods to an for the analysis and protocol is carried out for the purpose 
です。